shit, what? It's an ordinary Thursday evening in the medium-sized city of Telephone Falls. Husbands are returning from work. Children are doing their homework. And the Reynolds family are consuming massive amounts of greasy food as Deborah decides to phone her mechanic to check on the state of her automobile. The calls you're about to hear are as real as Deborah's complete lack of compassion for her fellow human being. This is Michael in service. Can I help you? Yes, Michael? Yes. Yes, I need to find out an update on the Suburban. Oh, no. Um, which, which well, Suburban is that? Don't all know me, because Mom's starting to get hot on the collar again. What's up? Well, okay, on your... Produ- we uh, had an incident. What uh, do you mean you had an incident? Well, one of our new employees, he didn't realize we had a no-smoking cigarettes under the hood policy and a fire started inside the engine what and uh, basically it's it's a total loss and it's it's caused a lot of damage to our uh our, to our place here as well and paramedics were involved several of our employees are in the hospital okay so what is going to happen to replacing our vehicle oh no well, uh, your insurance should cover that, I, I believe. As because we only owed like two hundred dollars left, and we were going to get the title on that son of a gun. Well, somebody's going to have to pay for the damages to our shop as well, because. How? Oh, why would we have to pay the damages to your shop when we bought the car from you guys? It was under it was an under warranty problem, and that's why we took it to you guys. The warranty does not cover fires caused by service people. You know, no, smoking. I thought that your new employee lit a cigarette underneath the damn hood. Oh, my God. They blew up in my truck. Yes, they did. And a lot of damage to the facility, and a lot of people went into the hospital. And the paramedics were involved, and they're saying we have to pay for the damage. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Where is the manager? The the manager he's he's talking to the police right now. He's talking to the police. Yeah, and about the charges that we may have to file against you for the fire. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! You're telling me because your employee lit a cigarette underneath the uh, hood of our vehicle, um, and there was damage to our vehicle as well as your um shop. That you're going to push charges against us? Well, uh, the, uh, the manager actually just uh, stepped in. Would you like to speak with him? Yes, I would. Okay, let, let, me, let me hand the phone over. Here we go. Maybe that wasn't the best way to introduce you to Telephone Falls. Let's spend a moment trying to forget Deborah's horrible attitude as we move on to the other side of town, to a travel agency business run by Mrs. Margaret Park, who just might have a better outlook on life. Mr. Chavo, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. Fine, thank you. Um, I'm just trying to get some ideas for different um, places to take my wife on vacation. It's our second anniversary coming up, so mm-hmm. I was kind of wanting to, to sort of brainstorm to see what kind of packages are, are out there. Well, uh, you know, it depends where you've been and where you want to go. I mean, uh, Hawaii is nice. Um, well, I don't. Have you been to Hawaii? Yeah, you know what? I mean, my wife and I, we've traveled. We've done all the, like, the, the Hawaii and all the tropical islands. And I don't know. I think we're getting bored of it. And, and she doesn't seem to be impressed with it. I'm trying to think outside the box, you know, I'm trying to think of something different, like something that she likes to do, something that's adventurous for her. I know she like she always wanted to be kind of a journalist. And she always want to go. She wants to go like where all the action is. Um, she wants to go what? She wants to. She wants to go where all the action is because she's always wanted to be a journalist. So she's okay. always watching CNN, and she's all. She's always like, you know, trying to keep keep herself updated with President Osama's uh, war on terror. Right. So I was wondering, like, maybe there's a place that she could go to where she could kind of see some of that. You know, maybe she could practice her her journalism skills. Where, where are you thinking about taking her? I don't know, like, where, wherever, like, there's uh, wars on terror happening, I think. Well, I don't book those kind of places for people. I mean, uh, 
I mean, that would be so cool to, like, show her the, one of the caves, you know, where uh, Obama was hiding. You know, I don't, I don't want to be responsible if God forbid something happens. You know, I don't book war zone places. That's, that's ridiculous. I mean, if she wants to go somewhere interesting, um, Costa Rica is a very nice place, very interesting. Um, yeah, but I think she would, she would love the adventure. Um, I mean, she's a risk taker, and so am I. So um, she'd, she'd love to meet some of them instead of just seeing them on TV. Also, you know, this would be really good for me because I don't really know much about what's happening. I just know that people are mad at each other. A lot of places don't even let Americans in. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, I, I have heard that they are actually starting um, uh, tours to Afghanistan. I don't book those places. I'm sorry. You don't have any package deals to Afghanistan at all? No, no, I don't. Okay. Don't is there anything like that that you could... I mean, is there anything happening in other places like Yemen or, you know, Iran. Tell me you want to get yourself killed or something? No, no, no. It's not as bad as it seems on TV. That's, well, that's what people tell us. Yeah. Well, um, you can go to Mexico. You're in a war zone there. There's a lot of war zone down there? Well, I mean, people get shot there. I mean, uh, oh. you know, uh, it's a drug cartel there. That's actually a good idea because there, it's a very different world down there. <laughs> I mean, no, this is serious, because she wants to be a journalist, so she wants to get some really good photos, so... I, I don't book these kind of places or recommend war zone things to people. I mean, that's uh, that's not my... Okay, because uh, you mentioned Mexico. So what what would be like... Well, worst... I mean, it depends what she wants to do there. I mean, you can... Uh, there's resort places, there's Puerto Vallarta, there's Cancun. You can take a tour to the pyramids there. I mean, uh, but uh, I wouldn't drive in Mexico, because if the police, uh, you know, stop you... Uh, they can demand money, and who knows what else they can do, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, uh, Mexico is not the best place to go. I mean, I, I don't really know what you... I mean, what's name is a very interesting place to go. I've been... Uh, Alaska is very interesting. What about... What about... Like, what is the worst place in Mexico that you could think of that we could go to? The worst place? Yeah. Like, is it Tijuana? Probably Mexico City. They stop okay. them in the streets, they, they kidnap them and all that. I mean, okay. I've never heard of such and a thing between you and me. Do you think the, the Mexican police would, like, allow us to do, like, a ride-along or something? I have no idea. Call the Mexican consul and ask them these things. I, I don't do these kind of things, you know. I'm sorry, I don't... Uh, I, I've never heard of such a thing between you and me. And I've been this, doing this for 35 years in the same location. I've never heard... People that want to do these kind of things. I don't specialize in those kind of things. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you what it is. I think it's just we get bored. You know, we get bored of well, just like the, the paradise vacations and we want something different, you know. Well, call the Mexican government tourist office and ask them where you can go. Where it's risky, where you can the, get kidnapped or raped. The Mexican government. Do you have a number for them? No, I don't. I don't. I don't okay. do those kind of things. Well, do you, do you know of anybody that would be able to recommend like a... a a good place to stay, Mexican City, where there's a lot of crime. No, I don't. I, I don't. Uh, I don't specialize in that. Look in the yellow pages for that. Okay. I, I really don't do that. I mean, that's. I've never heard of such a thing. To be honest with you. I don't see what's so what's so bad about it. You don't. No. Well, maybe if God forbid something happens to you guys, then you'll know. Well, what would happen? I don't. I understand mean, if you read, what... if your wife reads the news, you, you can see what goes on in Mexico. I mean, uh, people getting uh, kidnapped and raped. That's what they're getting for hell for ransom. Yeah, but no, but those people aren't prepared. Like, I'm going to bring Mace with me. Ah, uh, Mace. Okay. What, that, that's what you're supposed to use to, to fend off bad people. Yeah. Well, why don't you go to the Mexican tourist office and, and see what they think? Okay? Go to Mexico. Oh, okay, I'll try that. Okay, okay, bye. Bye. And I can't wait to die. See you up in heaven. Spirit is so pure. Sacrifice and us Come inside of me, Jesus Come inside of me Come inside of me, Jesus Come inside of me Deep inside my soul There's a hunger for um, I'm calling because um, we were doing a really check our social media reviews and whatnot. We saw you left a review on Yelp for us. Um, it was quite a while ago. Um, but taking a look at it, I don't think it's uh, accurate, and I'm wondering if you could take that down today. Oh, my review on Yelp? Yes. Okay, uh, 
You gave us two stars, and it seems a little harsh. Oh, okay. The, um, my review as a photographer, right? Of the, the... Yes. Okay. Already? Um, you were the first one to review, so it shows up at the top sometimes, and I was looking at it, and I'm like, you know... Yeah. Yeah, like, as you know, as you know, my review was not, like, uh, criticizing the church or the, you know, the church members or anything. I, I you know, there's no offense. But right. it was just my honest opinion as a wedding photographer huh. who was uh, covering a wedding there. I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's just it's really bringing down our review stars because you only gave us two. You know, it was all from my experience as a wedding uh-huh. photographer. And, Are you sure you, know, you weren't like reviewing, said, like, the wedding itself and not so much the venue? Honestly, yeah, I didn't find any, like, ideal, you know, place for group pictures uh-huh. and so on. I uh-huh. wasn't, you know, trying to make people... This doesn't people... seem very Christian. I mean, it's like, why would you give a church two stars? I mean, I don't know. I I don't want people thinking we're unchristian or something because... People are reviewing us uh, badly. Are you, yeah, yeah. That, you know, that's not. That wasn't my intention. You know, I wasn't mm-hmm. trying to. Um, like, are you give, a Christian? Are you atheist or Buddhist? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a Christian. Yes, you are. I'm definitely a Christian. And please understand like we should that. should get an you know, extra star for that. It was all about wedding photography. It wasn't about church itself or worship style. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I hear you saying. But could you? Yeah, uh, and. Update it. I mean, and it's an old review, and I feel like you should update it because it's not really relevant anymore. We've really done some renovations, and that was my review from what three years ago, four years ago. I only bring it up because we're getting lots of comments from people about it. Like, you know, we found your church via online, and but we were hesitant to come. We thought maybe you were bigots or something because of the low stars. And are you are you serious? No. Yeah, way. I mean, like because they weren't reading reviews. They just look at the stars, and so they assume that we must be preaching. Oh my goodness! They, you know, if you if they are making uh, judgment on church just by looking at the star the ratings stars. and not re- yeah, cause they're googling not, you know. and the and Yelp just shows the stars. They don't look at any further than that, and they think, oh well, this must be some sort of you know Westboro Baptist. You know, no. I get comments from high schoolers who say, you know, I'm embarrassed to tell my my high school, you know, friends what church I'm going to because they look on Yelp and say, oh, my God, you know, what are you going to some sort of Nazi church? Like, why are your stars so low? And I. Oh, my goodness. Do they do they have to know read? They don't. And, read, so that's the problem. They don't they don't dig any. Yeah, that's their problem. It's not mine. OK. So you're saying you're not going to delete it or update it or change it. Is that what you're saying? No. Mm-hmm. Are you from the area? I mean, can you visit again? You should come by, see how we've changed, maybe update it. For sure, update it. I mean, if I'm, you know, causing you any trouble, you're causing let me lots do this. of trouble. Seriously, I wouldn't be calling if it wasn't. You're you're making me feel really bad about this. I'm sorry. Even though I didn't do anything wrong. But you did. Wow. We're a church, and you gave us two stars. So I did something wrong. I did I did wrong. I did totally something wrong, right? I, yes. Wow. You're saying you're claiming that. Yes. I did something you're even, horrible. And you're a Christian. You're like you're like giving God two stars. Who would do that? That's not right. Hey, Christians cannot review on Yelp, and Christians cannot give can. one star or two stars. They can review, but not churches, unless unless we are like bigots, but we're not. But if we're not, wow, it doesn't seem fair. It doesn't you know, fair. I don't want to say this, but you sound very ignorant. <laughs> wow. Cannot give really? two stars. Listen to your claim. Christians cannot give two stars on Yelp. They can give two stars to on Yelp, but not to Christian churches. The churches are, you know, uh, all, you know, body of Christ. Yeah. And like I said, my review was not about the church. I know. I, so that's why you should take it down, because it doesn't make any sense. It's throwing people off. They don't understand. I mean, yeah, that's their problem, not my problem. But you're the one who did it, and so it's causing us problems. 
And so I'm asking from one Christian to another to update it. Maybe give us an extra star, three stars. I don't want to write reviews. I don't write reviews on church service. But you could. There's no reason why you can't. You could come by and say, extra star for the service, extra star for the friendliness, extra star for the brunch. I don't care. Extra star for the parking. Personally, I feel very offended <sighs> hearing that Why? I did something wrong. Well, I mean... And your your claim, your claim that Christians cannot give two stars on Yelp, that's, I mean, wow. You know what? I've never given two stars. I don't, I don't want to waste my time, and, right. you know, I just want to, I just right. want to, you know, make you fat, please. I want to make you happy. So... As of right now, I'm I'm in front of my computer. I'll just take it down. But if I visit there again, and I, you know, if I'm doing uh, weddings or anything, and who knows, I'll I'll write again about the weddings. But this is oh, oh you know, the way. Uh, this is uh, you're you're going against my freedom of speech here. <laughs> I feel very offended. That's how I felt about your review, though, that you weren't being honest, that you were exaggerating and you weren't being honest. I was being very honest. We have two and a half stars on Yelp. You know what that looks like? It looks like we're some sort of hate group, that we don't worship correctly or we're not welcoming. Maybe that's your impression. I don't know about others, but that's what people please don't are- judge me like Please don't judge me like that, okay? Well, I'm trying not to judge, but it's you're making it very difficult. You know, I so you'll to, take it down. I'm, you'll take it down today. No, I. You know, at the last moment, I feel like my freedom. But you speech said you just, would. Just, well, just could got you? Um, offended, you know. So I'm not gonna take it down. No, but I, I didn't think... write my view on the church or church itself. I'm, I'm repeating myself again. You are. But it's it's I, all about wedding venue. I just hope you pray on it. Hear the voice of God and what He tells you to do. That's all I'm saying. I I can't speak for Him. And your <sighs> ultimate decision. All right, like you said, I'll pray about it and I'll get back to you. Thank you. That's all I ask. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Bye. Are you tired of store-bought pizza that tastes like drywall? Have you had it with pizza delivery drivers who smoke marijuana and eat half your pizza before they get to your house? Here at Pizza Kitten, it's been over three years since our last salmonella outbreak, and our delivery drivers go through weeks of rigorous training before we let them bring pizzas to your home. Our pizzas are never made with ingredients found in the dumpsters behind McDaverson's grocery store, and our professional staff are closely monitored to avoid embarrassing mishaps that happen at other pizza delivery companies. No. Call no. today to hear about this week's special deals. Hello? I'm with the pizza. You made an order for a pizza, correct? Yes. Do you have your pizza yet? No. Okay. Uh, this is a delivery order, I understand. We want uh, yes. Okay. According to the computers... Uh, the address that you're getting a pizza delivered to is we're going to be pizzas on the way already, but the location you're getting a pizza to is in a high risk area, high risk delivery. Uh huh. You live in a bad. Not place. that I know of. Well, it's a high risk delivery area, so there's actually an extra deposit on that. I don't think so. Well, I don't think so. Well, there's there, we've already put a hold on the credit card. It's a thirty dollar deposit. This will be released after the pizza is delivered to your... To no, your I don't want your pizza then. You're out of your mind. We've it's, had it delivered here before, and they've never said anything like that to me before. Well, we've, ever. Had, we've had some issues with the people, this, the, you people, okay? Us? Yes, you people. You know what I mean by you people in this neighborhood where you live. White, what do you mean? What does you people mean? Well, for lack of a better term, white trash. You're it, calling us white trash? You little motherfucker, I'm going to be down at that store. I don't know who you think you're talking to, but we have had pizza delivered here I don't know how many times. We just moved here. 
And I don't know who you think you're. I want to talk to your. I want the manager right now. now Where's I'm, the manager? Don't you dare talk to me like that. I'm going to make sure you. Where you're never, is you're the manager? Never, I want to talk to the manager now. No, I am the manager. I'm the owner of the store. You run that store and you talk to people like this? You actually called us. You can't deliver here because we're in a high risk neighborhood? No, listen, we can deliver. God damn it. We can deliver the pizza, but we have already placed. I'm just, I'm required to let you know that we place a deposit on your card, an extra hold, $30. And it'll lift as soon as the pizza gets delivered. We'll take it right out. I don't want your pizza. Well, it's already on the way. Business. And then, and then, listen, listen to me. Then, then the thirty dollars deposit stays on, and and the price of the pizza. Say that again. Then the thirty dollars deposit stays. It, this is exactly what happens in your neighborhood. You white trash people. You order a pizza like a joke, and then you tell our driver, "Oh no, we didn't order a pizza." And then, no, we don't want the pizza. And then what happens? Pizza sits on the floor. Thirty dollars we're taking out. We're holding this for you, ma'am. We're taking the. We're going to keep the thirty dollars. You have pizza. got to be crazy. We're sick and tired. I had you guys come to our door, and and you were so nice. I I don't. You guys, uh, you're out of your crazy mind. You yes. cannot legally put a thirty dollar deposit on my account without my permission. It's already done. You did it already? Well, as, yeah, you accepted to the terms, but as soon as that delivery driver I didn't leaves, accept to no terms. They didn't say shit to me on the phone listen, that I had to make a $30 deposit to get pizza delivered to my home. If you look at the back of your credit card, it says we can read the read the, the fine print on the back of the card that you put this purchase on and the deposit. Read the fine print. Is the delivery driver you there? You are crazy. Well... I'm, it's, lady, what's your problem? You're going to bounce a check or something? You don't have enough money? What's the matter? I just paid it over the phone. I paid you guys over the phone on my card. We'll release it as soon as the driver gets back safely from your bad neighborhood. We'll release the hold. I, we don't live in a bad neighborhood. Tonight, we've given you a peek at the darker side of a beautiful city. A woman who values her car more than human life. A man who flings insult at our Lord Jesus Christ. A travel agent who hates foreigners. And a woman who raises her children in a seedy neighborhood and writes bad checks to pizza employees. But not everyone in this city is so full of hatred and rage. There are those who are willing to lend a hand to their fellow citizen and strive to make their community a better place. People who take pity on those less fortunate and those who leave five-star reviews on Yelp. Maybe, in a future episode, you'll meet some of those characters. But for now, it's time to bid farewell as the sun sets over a mostly peaceful Telephone Falls.